What's going on guys? It's your boy Breeze coming to you with a brand new NBA 2K21 video. And today guys, as you can see by the title, we're gonna be showing you the best dribble moves in NBA 2K21. Now guys, these moves are the moves that I personally use every single time down the floor to score consistently on my opponents, whether I'm playing ISO or whether I'm using screens. These are the moves I'm doing consistently and I'm able to score pretty much every time down the floor using these moves, using these different simple combos that I'm gonna be showing you guys in the video. By the time you're done with this video, you're gonna know how to dribble in this game. I am gonna be breaking it down to you guys with the hand cam. We're gonna be jumping into the my court. I'm gonna be showing you guys the moves that I personally use, the combos I use, and then we'll be jumping online into the park, into the pro-am, into the rec, and I'll be showing you guys how I use these combos in actual in-game scenarios. So if you haven't already, be sure to drop a like on the video. Let's see how many likes we can get on this video. You guys have been going crazy with the support on the past few videos, so thank you guys so much for all the support. Let's see how much we could get on this video. Also, if you have not already, be sure to hit that sub button and hit that noti bell so you don't miss a thing. Also, be sure to drop a comment down below letting me know exactly what type of NBA builds you want to see at point guard, center, small forward, it could be anything. And without further ado, guys, Let's jump into it. All right, guys. So as you can see right here, these are the moves that you're going to want to copy onto your player. Each and every single one of these moves is extremely important to have on for different types of combos that we're going to be showing you throughout the video. Pretty much every single one of these is extremely important besides, of course, like the park size up and the triple threat styles. But every single other one of these moves is extremely important. So make sure you guys copy these down and equip all these moves and then we can hop right into it. All right, guys, so as you guys can see, we are in the my court, and the first move that we're going to be breaking down to you is the curry slide. Pretty much all of you either know how to do this move or you've been seeing people spam it in the park. But now we're going to be breaking down to you not just this move, but how we're going to use it because this move is extremely important when it comes to just comboing in this game in general. This move is going to basically be the base move of all of our combos and it's going to be the base move that's going to get us open primarily almost in every scenario or it's going to be a move that we use to combo into other moves so as you guys could see literally all you do when standing in place is you hold r2 and then you're going to hold your right stick down into the left and down into the right as you can see with the hand cam in the bottom left you're literally just going to hold that right stick down into the left or down into the right while holding r2 or rt if you are on xbox this move is extremely easy to do, and as you guys can see, you can spam it left and right over and over again, almost like we're back in 2K15. And also, the way I really like to use this move is out of a quick stop. So I like to come to a quick stop, and then I like to curry slide out of it. Now, guys, make sure if you don't know how to quick stop, you check out my video. I'll link it down below on how to quick stop. But when you quick stop into a dribble move, you can really break down your opponents and you can get wide open shots consistently. So it's not always about quick stopping into a jump shot. A lot of times when you quick stop into a dribble move, it'll get you wide open consistently. A lot of times what I like to do is whether it's out of this move or out of a speed boost, just out of another move, I like to just go into a quick stop to get my opponent running and trying to stop on a dime with me. And then I'll curry slide back the other way and I'll find myself wide open. Now, after each and every one of these moves that I'm showing you guys, I will be showing in-game examples of what exactly I'm talking about so that way you guys can see how I use it in-game. But as you guys can see in the my court, what I'm trying to do is show you guys how I do these moves in-game. You know, sometimes you might spam it left and right if you're behind a screen. Sometimes you might spam it left and right if you're in an ISO to try to set up your opponent for a combo. And we're going to show you guys exactly how we do it in game right here. So as you guys can see, I run to the wing. I get my opponent running one way. I quick stop and then I curry slide back the other way. And I got wide open as you guys can see right there. Now right here behind a screen, it's completely different. So instead of just trying to get them to run one way and then we curry slide the other, we're just going to try to get them hung up on the screen one way. And then we're going to curry slide back to the other way. So there's different ways that you're going to use this move, whether you're ISOing or whether you're behind a screen. As you can see right there, I just did the curry slide a few times. I spammed it left and right in the ISO and I got open. So literally each way that I showed you guys myself using this move in the my court, I'm using this move in those exact ways in real games, in real game scenarios 
as you guys can see, this move is one of the most important moves in the game, if not the most important move in the game to get down first before you advance into more advanced combos and advanced dribble moves. So make sure you guys get this move down pat first before you get into more advanced moves and combos because this move, like I said, is going to be the base move of all of your combos and all of your dribble moves. So jumping into the next move, as you guys can see right here, we were just doing the explosive behind the back. So this is the explosive behind the back. Now, this move is easy to do, but I don't really recommend doing that move because a lot of times when you have a defender up on you in this game, the game won't even allow you to do the explosive behind the back. What you really want to focus on is doing the curry into this left right behind the back move right here. So the left right behind the back is the same way that you would do the explosive behind the back. However, you're always going to be holding your left stick to the left or right when you activate this move. So let's say I'm sprinting to the right and I want to behind the back back to the left. I'm going to let go of my left stick, flick the right stick down and towards my off ball hand. And then I'm going to sprint back towards the opposite direction of the direction I was just running. So like I said, if I'm running to the right, I'm going to let go of my left stick, flick down into the left, and then run back to the left. And this move, you can just keep repeating over and over again, running left and right. And the reason why this move is effective is because it gives you a different type of speed boost. Out of the curry, you're going to notice that you get this, um, like this power dribbling speed boost. But out of this behind the back move going left and right you'll see we kind of get this like curved speed boost where your your player's almost running in like almost like a, a semi-circle motion and this is the speed boost that we used to get pretty much every time in 2k17 when we had speed boost you see that animation right there so that speed boost is what you're going to get consistently out of this left right behind the back when you're sprinting left and right and that's why i like to combo this move with the curry is because it will really throw your opponents off you could be running full speed to the right hit this behind the back go back to the left quick stop into a curry slide a lot of times that combo right there is going to be a killer combo it's going to get you wide open it's very simple it's very easy and to the point and it's going to get you open because that's what we're really focusing on in this video guys we're focusing on these simple moves that are going to consistently get you open whether you're using screens or playing iso and this move right here is extremely important to get down so now we're going to break it down in game as you guys can see i got the defender on me i'm going to run out to the right i'm going to do the left right behind the back back to the left i'm going to get my opponent chasing and then i'm going to quick stop out of the speed boost and hit the curry slide so as you guys can see i literally just did that same exact combo twice extremely easy to do because you have so much momentum going in one direction and then you're going to quickly stop and curry slide the other way so as you guys can see now we're getting into the crossover 16 from 2k15 all you guys want to do is when you're standing in place hold r2 and then hold your right stick up into the left or up into the right on the right stick and this is going to be the crossover 16 from 2k15 we don't really use this too much in game but however behind the screen it is extremely effective so definitely practice the move and get it down so the next move and one of the most important moves to get down is the spin back so you guys just saw that clip right there in game where we were doing the spin back and we have more in-game clips later after we show you how to do it but as you guys can see to do the spin back this is an extremely important move to know how to do and what you want to do is when you're running towards the rim so it could be from the wing from the top of the key but you, you want to make sure you're running towards the rim when you're running towards the rim you're going to spin your right stick towards your off ball hand. So, and it, you're always gonna spin it downwards. So let's say the ball is in our right hand. We're gonna spin it down and to the left. And if the ball is in our left hand, we're gonna spin it down and to the right. Now, when we do that, we're gonna hold R2 or RT and we're gonna pull directly down on our left stick, as you guys can see on the hand cam. Now, what you'll get on accident is you'll get that spin move right there if you don't do it correctly. However, if you're moving towards the rim, you will get that quick spin back where it's almost like a quick stop. You know what I mean? You'll have your opponent running with you. Then all of a sudden you quickly spin back directly to the three point line 
you'll be wide open for a shot consistently doing this move. It's very hard to pinpoint when someone is going to do this. It's very hard to be able to tell when they're going to do this move. And it's very hard to keep up with it when you use it correctly. And as you guys can see, again, you're gonna spin your stick while running towards the rim, towards your off ball hand. And then you're going to hold directly down on your left stick while holding R2. And this will pull your player back into that animation. It's actually an animation that 2K put in the game. And you're going to get the spin back animation consistently every single time once you get it down. And it's extremely easy to do. Now, the only thing is with this move is it will be hard to activate when you have a defender tightly guarding you. So you want to make sure that if, if a defender is right up on you, that you are not trying to do this move if you are in contact with your defender because it will not work you have to have at least a little bit of space between yourself and the defender to be able to activate this spin back every single time however it is extremely easy to do once you get it down as you can see in the game right here we cross over coming up the floor and right once we break the contact with the defender we spin back and we get wide open from three. As you guys can see, I love doing this move out of another move. So a lot of times I'll cross over coming up the floor between the legs, get my opponent running one way, and then right when they're trying to shift back the other way, I spin back to the three-point line. They just can't recover, especially in this game with all the sliding. A lot of people don't know how to combat the sliding on defense, and you will get open consistently. So now guys the next move we're going to be getting into is the hezi speed boost you can only do this move coming up the floor and this is a move you guys are going to see me doing every single time whether i'm in the stage the park pro-am does not matter now this move is the easiest move to do in the game guys and it's almost as fast as the teleport speed boost glitch however this move is not a glitch it's actually just a move that's meant to be in the game it's going to activate a speed boost almost every time so when you're coming up the floor when you're sprinting up the floor, literally just flick your stick directly towards your ball hand. So let's say your ball's in your right hand. You're going to flick the stick directly to the right while running up the floor. You're going to see you get that quick little hezzy, but out of that hezzy, you get an extremely fast speed boost animation coming up the court. This is one of the most important moves to know in the game. It's going to make you extremely hard to guard and you will get open consistently doing this move in game i actually have an entire video coming out soon showing exactly how i break down this move and how i use it in game now the last and final move is the up court between the leg crossover when you're coming up the court just let go of r2 and flick your right stick towards your off ball hand now this move is extremely simple but effective because you'll cross over between your legs and you'll go in the complete opposite direction instantly and a lot of times it'll throw your defender off and you can start comboing out of that and get open very easily so now just getting into the in-game combos the different ways we break down these moves as you guys can see a lot of different moves used right there but at the end of the day we're always looking to get our opponent running one way and then we're going to immediately combo back the other way with a different move so it's all about momentum, guys. It's literally all about your defender's momentum and getting him off balance. So let's say we're running as fast as possible to our left and our defender is matching our footsteps every single move, every single step. You're literally going to want to just think about what move you can do to stop on a dime and switch direction faster than he can react. And as you guys can see right there, that's a perfect example. I get him running to the left full speed with me. I quick stop out of the speed boost and I curry slide back the other way and I find myself wide open for a shot. And that's what you're going to be finding consistently with these combos is you're going to be looking for your defender to be running one way with you and then you're going to just hit him with a move back the other way and it's going to get you wide open. It's all about doing dribble moves that are faster than your opponent's defensive movements and once you're actually getting these moves down and you know how to use them and know what scenarios to use them in you're going to be able to get open whenever you want in this game nobody's going to be able to guard you and you're going to be unstoppable on offense because as you guys can see no one can keep up with me with these moves it does not matter if i'm playing iso does not matter if i'm playing behind a screen literally does not matter as long as you know what you're doing 
nobody will be able to guard you simply because these moves honestly are pretty broken. <laughs> They're extremely easy to do. And once you know how to quick stop and you start doing these moves out of a quick stop, like what you just saw right there, that's when you get really glitchy. And that's when you turn a couple simple moves into overpowered moves that really can't be stopped by anyone as long as you know what you're doing and you know how to use them. So with that all being said, guys, this has been your boy Breeze. I'm signing out. If you made it this far into the video, be sure to drop a like on it. It really helps your boy out. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. And with that all being said, guys, I'm out. Peace.